Shares of Virgin Galactic are up 32% just in the first two days of trading this week. So I think it's worth talking about what in the world is going on with this company. Why is the stock up so much? And there are really a couple of factors. One is that the meme trading that happened in 2021 brought a lot of SPACs to the market like Virgin Galactic originally was when it came to public markets is back. Roaring Kitty, who was the famous GameStop investor from 2021, made a tweet and really that brought the market to life in this segment of the market at least. So there are a lot of stocks that are up well over 100% just in the last couple of days. GameStop Virgin Galactic isn't quite up that much, but is a really notable move happening on Tuesday. The stock was up 22% alone on Tuesday, up 40% over the past week. So things are moving in the right direction for Virgin Galactic. And when a stock trades for right around that $1 per share number, investors start to get worried because there's a lot of investors, a lot of institutional investors that when a stock trades under a dollar per share, they need to start selling it. So that's one of the reasons that Virgin Galactic has already proposed a reverse stock split. So that could potentially be coming in the future, could potentially be a catalyst just from kind of a technical perspective for the stock. But also it's very possible that we have something like a short squeeze happening with Virgin Galactic. And if there is something like that that happens and the stock does continue to rise, that actually opens up a lot of financing opportunities for the company. So I wanna dig into exactly what we know right now about the trading trends, for Virgin Galactic and what the cash needs for the company are because we got those numbers recently, because we got those numbers last week in their quarterly report. So that's what I'm gonna dig into today. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content and thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. So let's show exactly what's going on with the stock to start. I'm recording this after the market closed on Tuesday. So this was the move for today, 22.1%. You can see that over the past five days, shares are up 39.6%. You pull back to a month, we're still up over that period of time, but definitely down from a year ago. So moving in the wrong direction for Virgin Galactic. This is just the trend that the market is in, is that they're looking for companies that are profitable, that can generate a return and have a little bit lower risk, especially as something like treasuries are now trading four to 5%. So if you don't have to take risk with something like treasuries, why would you buy a stock like Virgin Galactic? That's the dynamics that's going on in the market. So that's why you see the market cap of the company, $522 million, despite having $867 million worth of cash on the balance sheet as of the end of the first quarter. So that's the next thing to go through with Virgin Galactic is why in the world is this stock in such a poor position? The biggest reason is we are in a holding period for Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic is building what they're calling the Delta spacecraft, which is their next generation spacecraft, it's gonna be able to fly much more often than the current Unity spacecraft. It's gonna be much more scalable from a building multiple spacecraft standpoint. So they could, for 50 or $60 million is what they're estimating that each spacecraft is gonna cost, but they have to build that out. And so they're in that process right now, and it's gonna be about two years from right now, but before we're gonna actually see commercial operations take off. That would be this moment right here. Where we are today is right about here. They are starting to fabricate parts, but ground testing and flight testing has not really started yet in earnest. So that is gonna be the next phase for Virgin Galactic is getting into that, getting through all those ground tests. Flight tests will start next year. But in the meantime, over the next two years or so, they're just gonna be in a cash burn position. So why is that important? Well, $126 million of negative cash flow in the most recent quarter. If you just take that times eight, so the next two years, they run out of cash because there's only $867 million worth of cash on the balance sheet. So this is fundamentally the problem. Now they're guiding for that cash burn to be a little bit lower. They've had a number of layoffs. They're not gonna be spending nearly as much on both operating the spaceport, but also some of the upfront spending that has already happened for the Delta development. That's, so that's gonna kind of go through a downward curve. So management really thinks that they can get to launch of the two spacecraft, Delta spacecraft that they're building with the cash that's existing on the balance sheet. The reason that the stock price is important is because as the stock price falls, the only option they have is the existing cash that's on the balance sheet. It's very, very difficult now to go back to the market and say, you know what, we need another $100 million, $200 million. Maybe you're a quarter or two delayed in your development. So you think you can get there, 
but you just need a little bit more runway. Well, that runway gets shorter and shorter as the stock drops. And that's really the fundamental problem that Virgin Galactic has been facing over the past year or so. The options have just become more and more limited as they pushed out the commercial operations and as, as they've said, hey, and it's kind of a downward spiral. You start to run out of financing options. You start to lower the scope of the business. So now the scope of Virgin Galactic is going to be just this Delta spacecraft. And then we're just going to get to two spacecraft being launched. The company doesn't really start printing money until we get to three, four, five spacecraft, which they can operate out of their facility in New Mexico. But they just don't have the funds today to be able to build all those safe spacecraft. But now what happens if there is some sort of short squeeze, if there is some sort of meme momentum with the stock if the stock goes to three four five dollars per share i am willing to bet the management would raise enough money to build the four, third fourth fifth spacecraft maybe even get another next generation mothership which is another vehicle that's which is another aircraft that's kind of in limbo right now all to be able to get to the point where you can actually realize these unit economics Annual space flights, this would be with VMS Eve. This is the mothership. Annual space flights, 125, so basically flying once every three days. Ticket price is $600,000. There are six seats on the spacecraft, so that's $3.6 million in potential revenue. That's where, how you can see here, they would get to basically free cash flow break even. Now add another two spacecraft to that and the numbers double. Now you're starting to talk about a company that's really making a lot of money. But you got to get to that point and get past this next two years of cash burn. If the stock price rises, it would actually potentially give you more runway to get there and even add that third, fourth spacecraft into the mix. So I think these are the things to think about as Virgin Galactic's stock price fluctuates. If it's actually getting some positive momentum, it could actually bring some operational momentum to the business. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. The challenge for investors is what is going to happen now? There's really nothing operationally that the company can do over the next two years to juice the stock price or get investors really excited about what's going on. There's a space flight that's going to happen in June. So that will hopefully go off without a hitch. But then it's just going to be milestone after milestone over the next two years before you get to potential commercial operations in 2026. The only thing that would really change the company's trajectories if they are to able to raise enough money somehow whether that's through equity offerings that whether that's through partnerships to build three four five delta spacecraft when they launch and maybe get another mothership as well but that takes capital and the company doesn't have the ability to raise that kind of capital right now so this is the catch-22 the virgin galactic is in it's a downward spiral when your stock is going down and you're burning cash but it could potentially be a reinforcing loop or an upward spiral if the stock continues to rise they raise another couple hundred million dollars they say hey we are going to build delta three and four we're confident with all the tests that are going on we have enough backlog from an order perspective and now as investors we would potentially be able to model this being a very very profitable business potentially in 2027 in 2028 and years beyond so these are the things to think about with Virgin Galactic. One of the reasons that this can be a stock that really drops dramatically on any bad news and really drop, rises dramatically when you get a moment like this. So keep an eye on this one. I have a small position in Virgin Galactic in the asymmetric portfolio. And the reason is I think the upside is tremendous despite understanding the downside is obviously zero for this stock if things don't work without work out with their development but what do you think about virgin galactic's future leave your comments in the comments section below don't forget to subscribe to asymmetric investing thanks for watching everybody see you here next time